Hi guys, what's up? It's Cheska and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we will talk about what's in my bag. Kasi nagulat ako, marami palang curious kung anong laman ng mga bag ng mga pilots. So if you're interested, this video is for you. Of course, the first one is <laughs> the bag. So this is issued by our company. <sighs> yung bag yata yung pinaka excited ako magkuha kasi iniisip ko siya as reward. <laughs> so the only time lang na ibibigay kasi sa yung ang bag pag the finish and napasama na ang training. So most of the pilot bags are like this ang shape because we put it beside our seats for easy access because we constantly get and put our stuff in it. Next is the company ID. So sa bag ko lang talaga nilalagay ang ID ko pagkatapos ng duty para hindi ko ma-misplace and hindi ko makalimutan kung saan ko nilagay. So part yan ng memory checklist ko before ako umalis ng bahay is to make sure my ID is in my bag. So next is the pilot licenses and certificate. So dito nakalagay yon. So parang pag nag-drive ka lang din ng car, kailangan mo lagi dala-dala ang license mo. Ganun din sa amin pag nagpapalipat, kailangan lagi din namin dala ang license and certs namin. Isa sa responsibility ng pilot is to make sure that our licenses and certificates are current and valid. So another one is the passport. So for me, optional lang siya kasi I only fly domestic flights. <laughs> so next is the alcohol and wipes. So sakto, buti na lang nag-shoot ako kasi wala na pala akong supply ng wipes. So kailangan ko nang bumili. So pagkadating sa loob ng cockpit, I make sure to wipe the controls, especially the yoke, the throttle, seat belt strap and the boom mic. So, syempre, si dami nang gumagamit. We have to make sure that it's clean before I touch it. And of course, huwag natin kalimutan ang major purpose ng wipes at alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so, next is the reflective or the visibility vest. So, this is issued by our company. So, the coming freebies. So we wear this when we're at the ramp area or during walk around aircraft exterior inspection. So sa daming ground movement, it's better to be visible and safe to prevent or lessen the accidents. And also, magkaka penalty or fine ka if you don't wear one. So might as well wear this. Sa loob ng vest, merong earplugs. So we have, we also have to wear earplugs along with our vest during walk around to protect our ears from the loud engine sound ng mga planes. And at night or early morning flights, we use flashlight. <laughs> this is company issued as well. So we use this for a walk around to inspect the aircraft. So malakas talaga ang intensity ng light and malayo yung reach. So life-saving tool as well ang flashlights for us. In case of emergency such as electrical failure at night or during evacuation or post-evacuation, we have to make sure that this is charged and working. Oh my god. So next is my printed data card. Dito ko lahat nilalagay yung mga necessary flight information throughout the day. Nakaklip yan sa yoko para in one place lang lahat ng information madaling hanapin and readily available. So next is my iPad. So we call this electronic flight bag or EFB. This is company issued as well. Personally, feeling ko nandito yung life ko. Wala ako kung wala ang iPad ko. <laughs> So kidding aside, in this iPad, we have all the necessary information needed for flight, like important documents, manuals, flight information or details needed for briefing and in flight. We also have aircraft performance calculation software. We had just have to input the data needed 
and then the software na magko compute for accuracy for accuracy and efficiency. Kaya iPad is life, guys. It's doing all the math for me. <laughs> So of course, and then the aerodrome charts. It also has interactive applications to enhance your knowledge. In that case, you will be using your iPad most of the time. That's why you need to bring your charger with you. So hindi ko ginagamit yung charger na kasama ng iPad. I personally use this one because it's fast charging. Siya. So next thing in my bag is this headset. So yan yun. So ito yung recommended headset talaga for ATR. Although we can also use other headsets, but it has to be approved pa by the manufacturer. Although dream ko before makaroon ng Bose A20 headset. So but personally, this headset is really good enough for me. So next is the sunglasses. So this is my favorite thing in my bag. Hindi lang siya pang forma, guys. Kasi nakita ko sa comments if kailangan daw ba talaga naka shades ang piloto. And yup, kailangan naka shades or sunglasses to protect our eyes. Although may blinds naman ang aircraft, sometimes hindi lang talaga enough, lalo na. If you're facing directly towards the sun, so invest in a good pair of sunglasses. So invest in a good pair of sunglasses. Don't buy polarized, low quality, and fake. So take good care of your eyes. You can also wear a cap like this one. So pwede ka bumili niyan sa the pilot launch on Facebook and on Instagram page for a super affordable price. So next is my logbook. This is to keep track of your flight and flight hours. So before, kailangan lagi lagi mo dala ng logbook, but right now hindi na kasi you can record your flights digitally. So next is my personal emergency kit. So nandyan lahat ng meds ko like paracetamol, yan leperamide. It's a must, of course. So, vitamin C, strep, sil, nose spray in case of clogged nose, and Gaviscon for acid reflux, sanitary napkin, so as a girl scout lab talaga. <laughs> and of course, coffee for alertness, so nasa emergency kit talaga yan. And by the way, bawal kami uminom ng mga medicines na may side effect kasi nakaka-affect ng mood, concentration, cognition, or wakefulness. So sa likod ng aking personal emergency kit, nandito yung mga extra pair of underwear ko, shirt, toilet piece, and makeup. Because who knows, hindi ka pala makaka for that day. So nangyayari yan most of the time pag wala akong dalang extra damit. So ayan, nagdala na ako ng damit. Sinamahan ko na rin ng swimsuit. So yes, nangyayari talaga siya na may times na hindi ka makaka dahil sa weather condition na abutin ka ng sunset limitation or may technical issues sa aircraft. So, ang tawag namin doon ay run or remain overnight. So, next is my water bottle. So, this is for hydration, of course. And then, pinili ko talaga yung ganitong cover ng aking hydro flask para just in case na mag-turbulence, hindi siya mapunta sa mukha ko. So, this was given to me by my partner, Claire. Oh, sweet. <laughs> So, did you know you lose 8 ounces of water from your body for every hour you fly? So, that's why stay hydrated, guys. And lastly, my GoPro camera. Lagi naman talaga yan nasa bag ko if ever I wanna take shots. Pero nung time na super kailangan ko yung GoPro ko to film my first international flight, na iwan ko sa bahay na naka charge. So, Ang galing ni Sheska, di ba? <laughs> so, so far, yun lang naman ang laman ng bag ko. So, if you have any questions or suggestions about the things I have in my bag, let me know in the comments section below. So, just my two cents. Don't buy cheap and low-quality essential items, lalo na kung araw-araw mong gagamitin and pang matagalan. Kesa bili ka ng bili kasi madaling masira. So, hindi ka rin nakatipid. 
So, quality over quantity, guys. I also want to share with you guys that being a pilot is not all about knowledge and skills. It starts from yourself, from the moment you wake up. Honestly, be ako organized before, but since na sa airline industry ako, every minute and every second counts. It's important that you're organized and prepared. Kaya the day before my flight pala, I fix my stuff para walang maiwan. Imagine if may maiwan ka lang something important, madadala mo na yung stress throughout the day and makaka-affect yun for sure sa flight performance mo. So, I study as well the flight information needed for my flight using my iPad and to take down notes. In flying, it changes who you are as a person. It brings out the best in you. I'll end this video by sharing my favorite quote, Flying an airplane is a challenge. It tests you personally. It tests your limits. You learn more about yourself being a pilot than anything else. So that's about it guys. I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, let me know in the comment section below. And give this video a thumbs up. So see you again on my next vlog. Stay safe.